and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. The weather station's ice radar. What? Well, the more the merrier. Faster than the eye can follow. <laughs> Someone's trying to steal the ice radar. <laughs> fault she got through. Well, I think we need a little help here. What's up, Porco? Up, uh, not up. Down. Look. Come on, Cringer, we've got to save Philip. What do you mean, we? I, I, I'm getting out of here. By the power of Grey Sky. Ah, mind your manners, Whiplash. <sighs> How about a polite introduction to this? Let's keep things neat. This belongs here. And you belong where you can't make any more trouble. Bye-bye, Whiplash. Have a nice trip. And don't give our regards to Skeletor. And what's more, Philip neglected to call the guard. Why, Philip, you know what you're supposed to do when there's danger. I was going to call them, but I just didn't have time. And I wasn't near the alarm button, and... Why doesn't he just own up? Why doesn't he just stop making all these excuses? So you made a mistake. Why don't you tell him what happened? I don't know what you're talking about. They should call you Wimp Lash. <sighs> just give me another chance to get my claws on that ice raider. Fight, or I'll turn you into a suitcase. I agree with you, Dealer. Philip has to learn to accept responsibility. I'm going to transfer you, Philip, up to the top of the world to help guard the weather station. But that's for losers. I don't want to go. <laughs> They're playing right into my hands. He'll have to use the ice radar. Icer, where are you? Here. Where else would I be? I still can't get through that protective screen to the weather station. You will be able to now. The fools are sending a new guardsman. When he lowers the screen to go in, that's your chance. The weather station is where we control the climate for all of Eternia. And I being exiled up there? It's not fair. Well, that's not true, Philip. It's an important post and a good place to learn responsibility. 
you see the protective screen around the weather station, pull this lever to deactivate it. Don't pull it until the last second and release it as soon as you're through the screen. Philip, are you listening? What? Oh, sure, sure. Raider. Maybe today I can get through on my own. I'd better test it. Maybe it's not working. And then again, maybe it is. Check the building. The doors are sealed against the weather. Make sure they're all locked tightly. Here's your freeze rod. Use it to stop any intruder. Any questions? Hm. This is simple enough. Oh, it's not so cold out there. at the weather station. Look at the size of that glacier. It's getting larger every hour. And coming toward us. You'll have to fly up there and see what's wrong, Tila. She can't. Whatever has caused this weather has filled the atmosphere with negative ions. There's no communication and nothing can fly. In that case, I'll go check out the attack track. You don't have to go with me, Adam. Good, it's cold up there. Then you'd better pack your earmuffs, Cringer. We're leaving right away. That's another reason we've got to turn back the glacier before it destroys all the animals' homes. Hey, wait up! I, I got bad news up there. Somehow, I don't think those trolls are a welcoming committee. We'll have to send the attack track back and go up the glacier on foot. But first, we've got to get past those trolls. I don't think that drat likes me. I'll go see if we can get around them. Come on, Granger. Adam, wait! Oh, never mind. I'll have to do this myself. By the power of Grey Skull! <laughs> Peace. 
Let us pass. Margadorn Sagarta. I think that means no dice. Why don't you take care of that draft, cat? So, that's the way you want to play, huh? Well, I guess I took care of that. And I'm going to take care of those trolls. Not if I use my patented bank shot. Thanks, He-Man. What are you doing here? You're having trouble with the weather station, aren't you? Yes. Adam's off looking for another way to go. Well, we'd better not wait for him. What about the trolls? By the time they figure out how to get out of there, we'll be long gone. How are we going to get through? Nothing can penetrate the protective screen. Orko, don't! I think there's a better way. My sword can absorb the energy. I was very careful to... That's enough, Philip. So it's Icer we're up against. That means Skeletor's behind this. Well, what else is new? I'll go see if there's any other way to get inside. We'll have to find Icer and stop him. You help Tila. I'll see about getting us in there. I can't find her! Tornadoes to order. Mm, the temperature in ancient sub-levels must never drop below the blue line on the thermometer. See footnote. Because it would wake the great caterchillers frozen into the ice below. The great caterchiller? Oh boy. <coughs> he man! He man? Uh, where did everybody go to? <laughs> Yikes! Tila! Tila! Battle Cat's found something. Isa must have done it. Now I got news. What's up? We've got to get Tila out of there. Stand back. I've got to find a place where there's a crack. Uh, here's one. Now to hit it just right. Thanks. It was cold in there. Where is Isa? He'll turn up. We can count on that. Never mind him now. We've got to find the sub-levels below us, closer to the center of Eternia. Spread out and look for the way down. Oh, my. I forgot to tell He-Man about the Great Caterchiller. Phew. At least it's still asleep. Correction. It used to be... Long fella, uh, aren't you? <laughs> it's been nice talking to you, but uh, I gotta. Uh -oh. I'm getting nowhere fast. <laughs> Oh, 
you're causing trouble. Hey, you got it all wrong. You're supposed to be the butterfly, not me. You do hang out in the strangest places, Orko. Oh no, you're not going to rope me in. <laughs> I hate to see you get all strung up. Now I know how a clock feels. That caterpillar's not mean. You've just disturbed his sleep. Time for your beauty nap. When you wake up, you'll be a gorgeous butterfly. <laughs> Icer should be guarding these steps. He must be around. He's in the wall. Now, if we could just keep him there. Orko, do you have your perma powder along? I sure do. I'll perma powder him right where he is. He won't be going anywhere. Good. You take care of that, then free Philip. I've got to get to the heat source. Let's see. I, I think pink must be for perma. Uh, now, that'll take care of Icer. I think green is for go, so here goes Philip. Uh-oh. We got him mixed up. Don't just stand there. Come on. It was sure cold there. Thanks, Oko. This is as far as we can go. Well, the good news is that Philip's free. The bad news is, so is Icer. How did that happen? Oh, I goofed the powders. It was all my fault. We'll talk about that later. Now we've got to get to the center of Eternia and bring in some heat. What are you telling them that for? If you let people know you made a mistake, they won't like you. Boy, if that were true, I wouldn't have a friend in the world. And I'm a very popular fellow. <laughs> Better go ahead, He-Man. I'll hold him off. I am going to stop He-Man. That's what you think, Cube Face. <laughs> Don't touch him, Battle Cat. You'll freeze. <laughs> Here, Captain. <laughs> I see icers running in more ways than one. <laughs> the heat melted the ice in the control room. The guards were all right, and we were able to adjust the weather controls. I want to thank you all for saving Eternia. But how did this happen in the first place? It was all my fault, Your Majesty. If it hadn't been for me, Icer would have never gotten in there. It looks as though you've learned to take responsibility, Philip. Hey, you took the plane. Aren't you afraid they won't like you? Not a chance. I saw you take the blame, and you're a very popular fellow. As for you, Adam... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where were you when I... Uh, he's never around when I need him. But you have to admit, it's nice when he is around, isn't it? Yes, it is. But don't you dare tell him I said so. 
<laughs> well, how are things going at the weather station, Philip? Well, it's lots of work and plenty of responsibility. But you know, part of growing up is learning how to be a responsible person. That's for sure. Whether a job is big or small, it's nice when you know that you're the kind of person people can depend upon to get the job done. That's right, Tila. Being responsible means you can be depended upon, and that's a big step toward becoming a winner. <laughs>